Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Buddy Blackford. We're going to learn in Adobe After Effects CS6 today with the new Boston. And today we're going to be learning about the auto keyframe mode. And let's get started, guys. So the auto keyframe button is right here. And it's you know it's selected when it turns red. Also, auto keyframing forewarning can mess up your composition or your project if you don't use it correctly so make sure you only want to have this on when you know you're going to auto keyframe things and turn it off when you're done using it so what the auto keyframe button does is anytime you change a parameter it's going to automatically keyframe it wherever the frame is that you're on so right now I created this little tuna thing here, tuna can, terribly drawn, but I mean, I just needed something to show you this real quick. So I'm going to open up the transform menu for all everything so you can see real quick. Turning on the auto keyframe doesn't set the stopwatches, but if I move this, let me change the position, you can see that it has created a keyframe. If I move this over and also you can see it doesn't create a keyframe for everything it just creates it for what you have changed so I move in the timeline a little bit and I'll move this down creates another keyframe and so on there we go so it created this little motion path without me having to click on the keyframe button every single time so maybe I want to come over here and change the scale. Now it's going to change the scale at that point. It also starts off on your first keyframe that you make, it starts it off at that scale. So it's not going to start at zero, it's just going to stay there right now. Only things are animated when there's two keyframes. So maybe I want to go back here and start this back at 100%. Now it auto keyframed it and it actually scales as you can see that you can see how this might get a little risky if you forget to turn it off and you're trying to set like default values maybe you forgot it's turned off and the opacity you wanted to change it to like 50% or something like that well now it's keyframe there and you forgot that it was you forgot that you made a keyframe and then you want to change it to 75 percent to start out for the whole comp well now it's going to keyframe and go to fit from 75 percent to 50 percent so make sure if you have auto keyframe on you have it on only when you want it to be on so that's basically uh, how auto keyframe works there's not much more about it I just wanted to give you the warning and wanted to show you it because it is a time saver if you need to animate a bunch of different ways. Usually I keep it on and just uh, keep it on for one parameter, do that parameter, and then go back from the beginning and then do the next parameter. <clears throat> also a quick tip is that when auto keyframe it is on, it's on for the entire project. So a project contains compositions. This is a composition right here that's called animation. And if I go into maybe this uh, this composition here, you can see that it's still turned on. So remember that when you're switching between compositions. That's the end of this quick tutorial. I uh, hope you guys learned something here, and remember to stay vigilant when you're making stuff in Adobe After Effects. See you guys later.